It's time for On Point, where we speak to experts to delve deeper into key issues in the spotlight right now with a delegation from the ruling People Power Party visiting Ukraine and Ukraine's Deputy Foreign Minister Dimitro Sene in Seoul. All eyes are on how South Korea plans to assist Ukraine further in the prolonged Ukraine-Russia conflict. And to get a look at what kind of discussions are being held and how Seoul can further assist the Eastern European nation, we connect with Hong tae professor at Pyongyang University Law School. Very good morning to you, Professor. Well, first off, with uh, Ukraine's Deputy Foreign Minister Dmitry Senek uh, visiting Seoul, what do you think is the motive behind his visit? Well, obviously, as Ukraine is at war with Russia, they have been making efforts to secure necessary arms and other support. He came to Korea to uh, uh, for, uh, thank for the support so far because we've been uh, providing some support, uh, but continue to request for the the a, a, a arms uh, for, so that they can uh, use it immediately at the battlefield. However, uh, there is also a sense that the war is hopefully at the waning stage, so uh, hopefully the restoration and rebuilding will be a key issue soon. Uh, Korea has already expressed willingness to be engaged in that report, that effort. So uh, the, the the discussion uh, seems to be uh, broad. Uh, the not only the, the the deputy minister will be meeting with the governmental offices, but uh, there'll be also he'll be also meeting with a uh, private sector engaged in development uh, collaboration and trade uh, rebuilding and so on and so forth so it's a multi-purpose I, I think that the, the there are uh, so, sovereign states companies uh, helping out uh, Ukraine but for Korea uh, having already provided uh, the humanitarian support I think the more key issue is to be in collaboration and in step with key allies and friends. So I think that there will be uh, a, a maybe an announcement about what kind of support we can upgrade to, uh, whether we can be of more help uh, to Ukraine in many different areas. Professor Song, uh, the ruling People Power Party chairman uh, Lee Jun Suk and his delegation, of course, making that trip to Ukraine as well, uh, which, by the way, included that meeting with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. Uh, what do you suppose uh, some of the things that the two sides have discussed there? Well, uh, this was not billed as a presidential envoy or anything, so it's apparently a visit by leaders of the ruling party and also lawmakers. So the m discussion could be broad and. Uh, by meeting with uh, President Zelensky, uh, they did talk about uh, broad matters. But however, uh, I don't suppose that they can promise anything because they don't represent the, the government. Um, but I, I think that it, the meeting uh, uh, served the purpose uh, to show that the ruling party leaders uh, are uh, being abreast of the key global affairs and and the the, the in interest and also. Uh, mutual dialogue uh, is going to be pretty helpful going forward. However, I have to point out that the, because of the, the, the timing and also uh, because they cannot really promise anything, the meetings are not really urgent or compelling. Uh, so I, I, that's why there are speculations as to what the real purpose of the meeting is, what, what is it for the domestic consumption, and they're having some bickerings and posturing uh, uh, among the party leaders uh, because and simply because there are some party leadership uh, competition going up forward. So uh, we'll see whether this is a zigzag puzzle that should be uh, more clear going forward. And Professor, during the previous Moon administration, Seoul refused to provide Ukraine with any lethal weapons. And well, Ukraine continues to make requests for assistance of that kind. And how do you think the current administration is going to respond to that request? Well, I think the policy formally has not changed yet. But the government is considering whether the armed support should take place. I, I think that is pretty uh, apparent that they're uh, mulling over it. Uh, Korea as I said, is already uh, committed to the post-war restoration efforts already. Uh, but uh, President Yoon will be attending the NATO summit at the end of the month. And uh, Korea is in contemplating whether uh, we, can, uh, we should uh, send the message of upgrading our support. So if that happens, 
probably uh, the the uh, arms support uh, of the weapons could be uh, in the issue, um, simply because there have been repeated requests from the Ukraine for arms support, uh, but. Uh, because other nations, uh, key uh, ally nations, are stepping up in their effort. And if the war it could be ending soon uh, with the critical support at this juncture, uh, probably Korea uh, would be mindful of that and uh, be willing to be in, uh, in lockstep with other key allies, uh, for example, U.S. and, and, and European countries. So, I mean, we've been seeing uh, the U.S. Uh, really pledging to continue support for Ukraine, but uh, how do you suppose South Korea will continue assisting Ukraine moving forward, I guess? Well, it's multifaceted. So other than the arms support that they immediately need, uh, there are some humanitarian needs. Uh, Korea will be setting up our aid office in Ukraine soon and collaboration as to what happens after the war, uh, all those rebuilding and the collaboration and help they would need uh, probably will be more important as time goes on. So I, I think that Korea will be continue to be involved uh, uh, and the immediate the question as to whether they that will include armed um, support would be decided pretty soon. But regardless of that decision, I think that Korea will be uh, 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 involved, not, not only on the government sector, but uh, from the private sector as well. All right, uh, Professor, unfortunately, it is all the time that we have for today. But again, thank you very much for your insights. And uh, again, looking forward to speaking to you. My pleasure. Thank you.